Hey people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well this morning. In fact, it's not this morning. It's this morning at home. However, it's this afternoon here in Mumbai where I currently am right now. So we arrived in Mumbai last night and we got in very, very late after a very long day. I woke up at quarter past three yesterday morning and I had to get to work for like quarter past seven, I think it was. I always tend to leave like four hours to get ready and get to work. Mm. And then I had to go for a COVID test and then we did the fly. Overall, it was about a 12 hour day. So last night we arrived here and we all decided to go downstairs for a, you know, a little social session because in this hotel, they have a little crew room where all of the airliners that stay at this hotel can go down to go and socialize, go and eat food which is very, very nice actually, because we arrive here so late at night that nowhere in the hotel or even outside of the hotel is open. So it was quite nice to go down there and just chill for a few hours before going to bed, because if I went to bed straight away when I got in here, it would have been like 8 p.m. And India or where I am in Mumbai is four and a half hours ahead. So yeah, it was like half past one by the time we got here. So yeah, I got to bed, I think it must have been I think it was half past five in the morning here. I was out for a fair few hours and it was just quite nice to just, you know, have a bit of social time because with the trips I've had lately, I've not been able to do that. So I wanted to make the most of this opportunity. But the only thing is, <laughs> guilty, I did have a few drinks last night and I've not done that for a long time. And my body was like, whoa, you're jet lagged, you're drinking, not two good combinations. So... I woke up this morning and I was like, uh, why did I do this? <laughs> Normally when I go downstairs for drinks, I tend to just have like one and then have some soft drinks because always whenever I have a few too many drinks, like I didn't have that many, but that mixed with flying just never works well with me. So yeah, I'm normally quite sensible about it, but because we're just chatting for hours, you know, you can kind of get a bit carried away. And then I got into bed and I was like, whoa. <laughs> sleep time so I did I slept for like nine hours ten hours and I'm I would say refreshed I'm not I'm not gonna say refreshed <laughs> so I have just ordered some food to revive Chloe and that is on the way now but before I do show you what I have ordered I just want to show you my hotel room because this might be the best hotel room that I have ever stayed in big statement let me show you so literally just as I went to go show you my room, I had a notification to say that my food was ready to pick up from downstairs in reception. So I thought, fantastic, I'll head down there now and I'll do my room tour second. So I headed downstairs and yeah, here's a story for you. So I ordered it from the app Zomato, which is the Uber Eats equivalent over here in India. Every time I've used the app, it's been fantastic. The food options is incredible. There's so much on there. It's so cheap. It's fantastic until you get to delivery. So every single time, like I said, I've used this app, I've had issues with getting my food from the driver. For some reason, they seem to like stop at the very start of the hotel grounds and seems to think that the hotel staff won't let them beyond the gates. I don't know why. Like, I end up having to, like, try and call them, and I don't even have, like, the ability to call people over here in India. It costs me a fortune, so I don't do it. However, it's, like, times like this where I'm like, oh, my God, just follow the delivery instructions. It says, come to reception, and I will meet you at reception. It's fine. I even put my room number on there, so even if he couldn't get, you know, into the hotel to meet me, the hotel staff could take it and bring it up to me. So there was plenty of options for him to, to deliver this food to me. He was waiting outside for 35 minutes. I was literally waiting at the doors of reception. The reason I couldn't go any further was because I'm not allowed to leave the hotel. I'm, you know, confined to the hotel grounds because of COVID. Fair enough, I will follow those rules. So I was waiting inside for ages for this guy. And the guys at the front of the door were trying to call him and he wasn't picking up and... Yeah, it was an absolute nightmare. The guys at the doors couldn't leave to go find him because they are the security guards, they can't leave. It was such a pain. I ended up saying to them, look, can I just walk down to the gate and see where he is? 
And he was just stood there, just waiting. He was on the hotel grounds, but he was just stood there waiting. And I saw the McDonald's bag, and yeah, by the way, I've ordered McDonald's. I saw the bag, and I was like, yeah, that's mine. And he looked at me, and he's like... I'm like, yeah, I think you've got my order. And he goes... I was like, yeah, yeah, you do. Can I have my food? Like, it was It's so cold. Anyway, I'm going to try and enjoy it as much as I can. But aside from that, I don't want to be a bit of a diva about my food. But when I'm hungry and I haven't eaten anything since, oh my God, like evening yesterday and it's now afternoon, I'm hangry. Anyway, what did I get? I actually totally forgot. <laughs> Let's have a little look, shall we? First of all, I ordered a Coke. I got a large one and I'm very glad I got a large one because I'm so thirsty and water just isn't cutting it today. Oh my god, this is incredible. This is the fries. Oh my god, it comes in like a little pouch and look at this. We have like a little section to open it. Oh my god, that is incredible. Fantastic for delivery because that means the chips don't go flying everywhere in your bag. I did also get myself six nuggets because they were £1.50. You can never, ever, ever get six nuggets anywhere in this world for £1.50 apart from here. So it had to be done. Even if I don't eat them now, I'll eat them later. I also got a McChicken sandwich, kind of equivalent. I think the chicken is a bit thicker, but we'll see. I'll just try that. It's in this bag, isn't it? I know what I got. This was something I saw and I was like, oh my God, that is a McFlurry made for me. So they had like a deal where it was basically buy one, get one McFlurry free and you couldn't get a singular McFlurry on its own. So I thought, well, I may as well just get the two. So basically this is a Black Forest McFlurry. I absolutely love anything Black Forest. My mum made me a birthday cake that was Black Flor Florist? <laughs> Black, oh my God. Black Forest flavored. And it was incredible. Anything like, if you see Black Forest Gatto on the menu at a restaurant, you can guarantee I'm getting it. So that is my feast. And I'm gonna dig into it before I do my room tour because I'm so hungry right now to the point where I'm developing a hungry headache and that's not good. So I will see you in a little bit when I'm less hungry. These nuggets, I don't ever know why I expected them to taste anything like McDonald's nuggets at home, because they don't. They taste, this is gonna be a really weird description. So you know when you go for a curry and you order a chicken curry, the chicken is inside that curry. These nuggets taste like that, like chicken curry nuggets. The first bite was a little bit I didn't know what to think, but the more I eat them, the more I love them. I just love the fact that they taste so different. And this is why I quite like trying McDonald's in different places around the world. Some people are like, really? Like, don't you want to go for a bit of a healthier option? And why do you go for the same old crappy food? But it's like, no, honey, McDonald's just hits different everywhere. And unless you try it, you don't know. I do want to tell you the price that I paid for all of this because it's insane. I did tell you I didn't pay much for it, but considering I had pretty much a meal, a burger on the side and two McFlurries, I paid £5.81. If you can have McDonald's for £5.81 and have all of that, why wouldn't you? So I'm about to try my Black Forest Oh my god, why am I finding it so hard to say this? Black Forest McFlurry. It looks like it's got some sort of brownie in there as well. Oh my god, that is so good. I'm so glad I have two, because I'm going to have one later before pickup. In my element right now. I actually feel so sick that I'm so full, but I think I'm going to have a bath in a minute. But of course, before we do that, I'm going to do my room tour. So let's show you this gorgeous room. Oh my God, it's incredible. I wish I was staying for longer. So first of all, on the left, you have a wardrobe, which is humongous. Then you walk a little bit further down and you have this really cool patterned wall, which I love. Like how cool is that? 
Then of course you have a full length mirror, which is literally full length. <laughs> You've got a stand to put your luggage on and you've also got more surfaces over here with a tea and coffee making station. I haven't actually touched this yet, but I've just seen some green tea, which I might have later. I tend to avoid English breakfast other than in the UK because I'm very particular about my tea. What's that? Oh, we've just got loads of different types of English breakfast. You've got a flat screen TV, which is wonky and that is very annoying. Can I fix that without breaking it? I think that did it, kind of. Perfect. <laughs> You've got a little desk area over here and also my ironing board, which I have already used. I've got a little seating area over here where I've just had my food and I've been vlogging at, which has lovely views outside. I've just got a little seat over there, which is very random. <laughs> two beds, because if you're staying two nights, you can sleep in one and then have some fresh sheets for the second, but unfortunately, that's not me, I'm only staying here for one because I'm leaving tonight. You've got a nice big bedside table which is very much appreciated because when you have a small bedside table and you're trying to charge your phone, your iPad, your work phone, your watch, your camera, it's not fun. So that's very, very appreciated. Also the beds were super comfy. Not the comfiest actually, surprisingly, because I thought this hotel is so nice, I thought it'd be so comfy. The, the duvet is lovely, it's so heavy, it's one of those weighted ones which I actually love and I'd really love to get for home. But yeah, just the mattress itself, just a bit, bit hard for me. I also love the detailing behind the beds as well, like the headboards, like it's very, very Asian and I really quite like it. Then moving on to the star of the show, and that is the bathroom. Look at this bath, guys. I actually just realised this is the door, like the, the very nice wall that I just showed you is a door as well, which you can push right open and be like proper exposed to your whole room in the bath, which is very romantic if you're staying here on a couple's retreat. So yeah, you've got a nice big sink basin area, humongous mirror. My stuff is absolutely everywhere because I was in a bit of a rush last night to get ready for a little social session. So yeah, I still haven't sorted that out. But I'm definitely going to be having a bath later. You know me. I will be in there in approximately half an hour. <laughs> it's going to be a very good experience. I can already tell. Even the shower is actually so nice. Like I had a quick shower last night before I went downstairs. But how many showers have a seat in the shower where you can shave your legs? Like being able to put my legs up and have a good shave is very appreciated. And you've got some shelving to put your bits on as well. And the shower is very powerful. It's a good one. And then next to the shower, you've got the toilet as well. So that completes the room tour. And I think it is such a nice room. I'd quite happily room confine in here. <laughs> and that's a big statement. I could stay in here for ages. But it's just so nice. I heard good things about this hotel, but I absolutely love it. The other thing I wanted to show you as well is the pool. The pool is literally directly below my hotel room, so I thought, fantastic. I can keep an eye on it in the morning and see how busy it gets, but I've literally seen one person here. And I see why, because the sun is already over the pool. There was no point in going down. Because I, like I said, I woke up at like three. And um, I've just realised there's people down there. <laughs> but yeah, I, um, I woke up at three, and literally at that time, half of the pool was covered with shade so I thought you know what I'm not even gonna bother going down which is quite gutting because I really need to get a suntan but I don't have the chance to on this trip as well so we'll just have to wait for next time so before I do get in the bath I just want to show you something I noticed while I was eating I knew I had them but I didn't realize how bad they were and it kind of proves the point that being a flight attendant is not glamorous in the slightest so before I show you I just want to say excuse my hairy legs I haven't shaved in about a week can't be bothered. Look how bruised my legs are. I've got this giant one here, which I know how I got that one. I got that one from whacking my leg into the towel rail in a bougie. That wasn't fun at the time and it still really hurts and I didn't expect it to bruise that much. But that looks lovely in green. I've also got two here. I've got one there and I've also got one there. I don't know how I got them. I 
know I got them from work somehow, but I always find it that I always come home from every single flight with an additional three or four bruises, no matter how big or small. Just while I was running the bath then, I noticed there is bath salts. I don't think I've ever seen this in a hotel before, but oh my God, you know I'm gonna be using these. Like it's just the little things that excite me these days. Like <laughs> it doesn't take much, does it? <laughs> I absolutely love the sound of his purring and it's very rare that he actually ever comes in my room anymore because I think he's at a stage where he's like, do you know what? I'm too cool for you. I don't want to be around you anymore. I don't want cuddles. Go away. So when this happens, I really appreciate it. So as you can tell, I am at home now. The flight back from India was absolutely fine until the end. The reason for that is because I was very stupid. I was in a rush, I was trying to sort the, the area of the plane that I was working on, ready to leave. And because I was in a rush, I decided to open a storage area with my nail rather than my knuckle, which I normally do to protect my nails. And this happened. Look at the size difference from that one compared to that one. Like, look how far that broke down and how far down I had to file. I was so stupid and I was so frustrated at myself after it happened. Like, it's fine, like, these things happen. I'm just being a bit of a drama queen, as usual. But I only just had these done last week and I love the colour, I love the shape and it's just gutting and it's going to annoy me because it's so much shorter compared to my other hand. Like, ugh, it's fine. These things happen. But anyway, other than that, the flight was fine. It went kind of slow. It's one of those where I've done so many like shorter long haul flights lately, like I've been doing in the region of six hours or on the other end of the spectrum, 12 hours. And that in-between stage, like this was a nine hour flight, I think, that in-between stage just feels like it's so slow. I'd rather it just be really short or really long. No in between. Aside from all that drama at work, I actually had a very good flight actually. I had a really good sleep on my break. I came home about 9.30 this morning and I did have another nap because on my drive home, I was so tired. I almost did stop at the service station, but I thought, you know what? I'm okay enough to just power through and get home. And then I can just go straight to bed when I get home, which is exactly what I did. The only thing was when I got into bed, I was kind of tossing and turning for maybe an hour or so. And I think the reason for that was because I was really cold. It's gotten so cold since like I was in the UK a few days ago. I don't know what's happened, but my room I noticed does tend to get quite cold when I'm away. And then once I get back home again, it does take a couple of hours for my room to heat up again. But once I tossed around in bed for an hour or two, I was out until 3 p.m. No regrets at all. My body obviously needed it and sometimes you cannot, you know, be mad at yourself for sleeping until 3pm. I've had a shower. I feel so refreshed after my flight. I am just revived. And the only other plan I have for the day is to go and get Vic from work in a few hours. And I imagine he'll be tired. I'm still tired from work and I won't be mad about having an early night, to be honest. I have the real urge right now to play Sims. That's really odd, like I had the real sudden urge to. I don't know about you guys that also love playing Sims. I know there are a few of you out there, but I always go through the phase of playing Sims for hours on end for weeks straight and then having like months and months break from it, which is what I have just had. And then I will go back into the phase of just playing it for weeks and weeks for hours a day. And then I'll go for a massive break again. I don't understand it, but yeah, I feel that urge to play Sims again. And I do remember the last time I played it, I did start building a house. So I might start finishing that. But I always find that I have more fun building houses and creating Sims than actually playing in live mode. Am I on my own with that? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like if I got my laptop out right now and I load up Sims, I just feel like I won't want to play it. But I do also have the urge to. I don't know. Sims is a funny one for me. I've really, really got to be in the mood to play it. And when I'm in that mood, 
I'm in that mood for a long time. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I might fall asleep too early to even play it. So I didn't end up playing Sims last night, which I'm not really shocked that I didn't because as soon as my head hit the pillow after I got Vic from work, I was out. So I have actually been playing it for most of today, actually. It's like... 4.30 in the evening now, or afternoon, evening. I feel like it's more evening in autumn and winter because it's already starting to get dark outside. But yeah, I finished building the house that I told you guys about that I started ages ago. And it's one of those where I'm like, I was halfway through building this house and doing the furniture. And oh my God, I was like, you know what? It's just so tedious <laughs> doing this same old rooms constantly having to do like three or four bedrooms is really time consuming and just becomes not fun. So I actually managed to finish those today. And I wanted to give you like a little Sims house tour because I would say this is kind of like my dream house. Like there's bits I would change from when I first built it. But I wanted to show you anyway because, you know, I love room tours and house tours in general anyway, watching them on YouTube. Plus I love Sims. So I thought I would do you a little house tour. So let's show you my house that I built. I don't know how well you're actually gonna be able to see the screen. Let me try and adjust it a little bit. Is that a little bit better? I don't know. Yeah, this is the house that I built and I absolutely love it. What I love about it is how symmetrical it is. Like I have to have, pretty much you'll see this theme throughout the whole of this house, but when I have something on one side of the room, I tend to have it on the other as well. So yeah, this is the outside. I have two driveways. A really nice water fountain here and I love like the stones here like this is all custom content all of this pretty much because I'm not a big fan of base game stuff and I'm really a big fan of greenery I love like flowers and bushes and trees and I really feel like that adds character to my houses so I made like a nice porch here with some nice lighting so if we go to night this is what it looks like at night and I just love how glowy it looks in the porch and it's just so modern at the same time as well as feeling homely. So that is the outside at night. Let's move around to the garden maybe. Now a lot of thought went into this garden. Oh my god it's going to be really hard to try and show you because there's so many trees around. But basically yeah this is the, the garden here. So I really find it hard making a swimming pool look good rather than it just being like a square in the garden randomly plonked. So I decided to make it a little bit different. So I decided to build it around the house and do like a bridge as the access to the garden. And I think it was so, oh, I just hit record there by accident. But I think it's such a good idea. And again, I love the greenery around it. I really love the brick. It's the same brick as on the, the walls, but that's just like a gray slash black version. That's the white. But I just think it looks so cool. Again, I've got the, um, the slabs all around as well. I have a really nice, like, seating area here which would be nice for the summer plus I don't like to like clutter my gardens with stuff I quite like a bit of grass and everything as well I also think these things look like brussels sprouts and I think they look kind of cool <laughs> um, but yeah I made like a little I don't know what to call this like a little patio area and I think this is just such a nice outdoor seating area that looks very fancy but it'll be like perfect for barbecues as well and I did put a little speaker in there as well so we can have some nice garden parties and then over in the corner over here I decided to play around with some of the custom content that I had and I've never built a um, tennis court before it's not actually a playable one it's just for show but I just think it looks really cool like I've got a little rack over here with some tennis balls and then over here, there's a little seating area. It's just very Wimbledon-esque, isn't it? <laughs> like centre court. So yeah, I'm really pleased with the garden. I'll show you the garden at night as well, if I can, around the trees somehow. Oh. But again, I like to put lighting in the pool to make that really stand out, as well as spotlighting all around the tennis court, as well as in the patio area over here. I don't know what this is called. Like, I don't know. I can't think of the name, but... Yeah, I also did put a little tree house over here. So as well as it being modern, it also has like a bit for kids as well. Anyway, moving on to the main house. So I really like to make my hallways quirky as well because I find hallways are some of the most boring rooms to make. So starting off with the front door, um, 
We made it nice and cosy with some curtains, a little table over here with the keys and the lamps. I think lamps make homes look really homely, like rather than just being like bright white lighting, it makes it nice and warm lighting. So that's always nice. And I've seen a lot recently, a lot of people like to have like centerpieces right next to the front door. So being like a table with a plant or some books or something. So I kind of took on that inspo for here too i think i was meant to put a rug here i don't know why i missed that out but yeah i tend to like putting a nice rug what rug should we go with i feel like maybe a round rug obviously not that color because that's too bright for this hallway maybe like a cream yeah i think that looks okay yeah that'll do as you can see, I am a Sims 3 player, not a Sims 4 player. I've never actually played Sims 4, so it's hard for me to actually make a judgement, but I've loved Sims 3 for so long now, well over 10 years, and I find it hard to convert to Sims 4. And I know they've improved a lot of things about Sims 4, but when it first came out, I was just really put off by how much had been lost from Sims 3. Hold on, Vicar's at the door. So moving on to my lounge, I tend to like my lounges a little bit more cluttered. Um, I don't know why, I think like a cluttered lounge feels homely. <laughs> You're gonna hear that word a lot, homely, but yeah. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. Um, but basically, yeah, all it consists of is a nice fireplace, um, TV on the side, um, I've got these two like sideboard things, I don't know what they're called, but yeah, I just find they're really good for creating clutter. And I thought, well, to fit with the theme, you know, I am a vlogger, so we have to include a camera in there. The only thing with having a fireplace and lots of clutter around it is I do make sure I always have a fire alarm in there because I am one of those that panic big time when I hear the fire alarm pinging off and yeah, I'd rather someone else deal with it, i.e. a firefighter. <laughs> so I always make sure I have one of those in there. Plants, I absolutely love. I love blinds, mirrors. I just find it adds some nice character to a room. <laughs> In the corner I do have a piano because as much as it is nice to have clutter around the room, it's also not fun to have clutter that you cannot interact with, i.e. a lamp or a plant or something like that. So I thought popping a piano there would be quite nice as well as some speakers. Um, and then I have lots of art on the walls. I quite like overlapping it. it makes it nice and um, cool and a bit different. We've got another plant in the corner. And because I have a lot more clutter in this room, I do just do a simple white wall and some dark wood for the flooring as well. And of course I like to pop a little coffee table in the middle as well. Sometimes I do put some pillows on the sofas, but I didn't bother today because that's a bit too time consuming. So moving on to I think probably my favourite room in the house is the kitchen. Now I love these glossy floors which are custom content and I just think it makes it look so luxury. So I have lots and lots of counter space, like tons of it, all around the walls, just like that. So I've got a little espresso machine in the corner, a little food processor over there, microwave in the corner, fruit bowl and just like little extra bits of clutter so like some alcohol bottles fruit and then i also have this piece in the middle which is a stove and an oven and it is interactable so um sims can use it to cook with and it's quite nice to have like an island in the middle and that adds a lot of character to my kitchens i find plus i put a few bits of like seasoning and vinegars and things on there to make it look less boring and I think overall, I absolutely love the kitchen. It is so cool. Which reminds me, did I put a fire alarm in there? Yes, I did. Um, I also have the fridge in there too, which really nicely blends in because I find there's nothing worse than having like a nice kitchen. Then you have like a massive silver fridge in the middle of it that just kills the vibe. So that looks all nice over there. Got a bit of art on the walls too. And then 
over here I have my dining room which I always like to have a dining room like integrated into the kitchen rather than having a separate dining room I don't know why I just find that if it's in the dining sorry if it's in the kitchen I find they don't end up wandering off like the problem is with having the outside area over here where I have the table sims will often make the food and then go and eat it out there like when it's snowing or raining or something which is so stupid so I find having it directly in the kitchen means hopefully they won't do that Plus, I also like to add these decorations here, like the table settings, which look so nice. Unfortunately, they won't eat on top of them. They will end up holding the plates and eating them like that. But that's fine. All worth it for the decor. Plus, I have these two lampshades above it and a nice rug below it too. So that's my favourite room, the kitchen. And that's just like such a nice social room for families, which I think is perfect final room downstairs is a gym i was a bit stumped on what to do for this room i always find that i always put an extra room down here and i never never know what to do with it i often make it like an office or something but i decided to go with the gym today and there's lots and lots of equipment in here a few bits that aren't interactable such as the punch bag the basketball hoop um but pretty much everything else is and it's always quite nice to have like something a bit different in the house and it saves them having to go to the gym in town so that's quite nice and i wanted to make it a bit colorful in here too so that is downstairs the only thing i think i would change about downstairs is i totally forgot to add a downstairs toilet because i thought this house is so big like if you had like a family of six in here and there's only one toilet upstairs that's going to be an issue so i tried to sort of figure out how i could put a toilet down here but there was not really any way for me to so i ended up putting a toilet up here instead which i actually didn't have in there originally i only had like these two rooms here which I planned for en suites and I thought oh my god there's not a family bathroom so we'll go on to that room first upstairs so this is what it looks like let me put the walls down a little bit so we have the cabinets here so in fact let me put the walls back up you can see the wall decor then oh I cannot get these controls all right today um so I got the toilet over here and I quite like hiding the toilet a little bit by these cabinets and then I also pop them the other side as well you can kind of see the symmetrical ishness of that <laughs> not really but um yeah we have the sink over here and I quite like the extra decor here with the towels and things and I just think it looks really cool and modern again I've popped that glossy floor in here can you stop eating crisps behind me you're being loud Am I? I'm trying to speak and all you hear is rustling of the crisp bag and you're chewing the crisp. So I've also added the two showers here because I find having just like one bath and one shower when you have a big family is kind of an issue. There isn't enough for everyone. And the only thing is with this though is, especially if you have like young kids and teenagers, they won't go into the same bathroom as like your parents because they're embarrassed. You know, they actually have emotions. <laughs> so yeah, that can be a little bit of an issue, which is why I thought that'll be fine with the other two en suites with the other bedrooms. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I've also popped in like loads of extra decor, like the plants. I've got the weighing scales, lots of nice toiletry bits as well. Moving on to the hallway, again, I struggle big time on what to do with these hallways. I absolutely hate doing hallways. So I decided to just make some like rug walkways to make it look a little bit more interesting, I guess. I don't know whether that's actually looks good. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it as it is because if I keep messing around with it, I'll be messing with it for hours. I always like to do a nice chandelier when I'm doing an open stairwell because I think that looks so nice. Um, I struggled to know what to put on the walls over here so I just put some mirrors a good thing to fill a wall is lighting so that's exactly what I did over here same on this side and again the symmetry carries on we've got the plants either side with some nice paintwork that leads into the master bedroom again master bedrooms I find are quite hard because it's always hard to know how to fill it other than just a bed and some wardrobes so I thought if I do a bit of a different shape that might actually help with that so I did like a Mr and Mrs side I did the bed over here with some walls to kind of make it a bit more private I guess and I like the darker colours as well a lot of people like find darker colours quite 
you know, intimidating, but I think it makes a room look so much more romantic and cosy. So we have this nice bed with a big sheet over that's like quilted and you've got these nice lamps over here. The gold makes everything look so like, I don't know, luxury, I guess. The only thing that annoyed me was I couldn't change the color of these handles. So they are silver and that's really annoying, but I'll have to look past that, won't I? Popped a rug in there as well to make it more cozy. And yeah, that's pretty much the, you know, sleeping section. Actually, what should I add over there? Maybe I should put some like of those wall lamps again. Where were they? Oh, I don't think I actually went on the wall. <laughs> there we are. That looks a whole lot more nicer. So moving on to the dressing room side. So like I said, I've done a Mr. and Mrs. side. So on the Mr. side, you pretty much got exactly the same either side. You've got mirrors, exactly the same layout. These are all usable, I've made sure of that. And then you've also got like a pile of clothes because I feel like for some reason, like especially with Vic, he always dumps clothes in the corner of the room. So I thought maybe I should incorporate that into the male side, just from my own personal experience. And then on the male, um, sorry, the female side, I then have makeup, got some shoe boxes as well. I don't, again, I don't want to make it too cluttered in here because I find just having it simple, you know, with some nice perfume bottles as well, we'll just keep it very elegant and classy. So moving on to bedroom two of three, um, I made this room with the intention of it being for a daughter. So I, I made it with a daughter and a son in mind. So a, a family of four technically, but you can definitely build it up to make it for, for more more than four. So bedroom two of three, I decided to make very simple, very black and white, because I thought you can't go wrong with black and white. And then I thought eventually when you do move in a family, you can then add a few extra bits of color to their preference. So yeah, let's pop the walls up so you can see the wall art again. So I absolutely love this doorway. I think it's so nice, chic, very French as well, like French doors. So I did a four poster bed because I imagined this to be like a very elegant daughter of, of some sort. And um, I thought, you know, I see <laughs> this particular bedding as being from the white company because I just like this sort of linear effect. And I did some black pillows as well to sort of tie it all in with some white lamps. Um, some very abstract art over here, pretty much some white paint splattered on a black canvas, which I quite like. Um, some black chest of drawers over here with some flowers on there, some nice white curtains. We've got an interactive object over here of a um, easel, I can't think of the word then. <laughs> and then we've also got a dressing table over here, which I think is very nice. And we've got a nice bit of seating area over here. And then moving on to the ensuite over here, again, the gloss flooring, which I love. A nice little rug here, a walk-in, a shower with a toilet and a sink very simple moving on to bedroom three of three again the ensuite is exactly the same as the one across i didn't change anything about that and then this bedroom as you can see is very much for maybe a male sim i popped a mirror on the back of the bed because i felt like i'd reused a lot of the same prints all the time so i wanted to do something a bit different i popped some seating either side with the bedside tables and again i use that linear effect on the quilts and the white sort of detailing on the bed looks really cool as well I love that I also decided to put this on a platform I don't know why I just I was feeling it at the time <laughs> I added this nice print here which I think is very cool has loads of different emotions on there and feelings put some seating in the corner some canvases that are balanced against the floor on the wall which looks really nice sometimes that's a bit more unique than having them on the wall and finally to finish off this room in the corner i decided to include like a little mini study because even if this isn't used as like a child's room it could also be used as a spare room and people can kind of come in here and use the study as they please so i have a little imac here as you can see that is custom content i do not have that in base game which i absolutely love i think that's so cool a nice chair that matches the same sort of pattern as the bedding and the desk is very modern i love that and then we've also popped a little plant in the corner because i don't know why i made these rooms this particular shape i don't know why i did this and it really took a lot of thought on what to put in there so 
I decided to go with a plant. So that finishes off my house. I really, really do like it. Actually, one thing I want to point out in the corner over here. So a lot of you that are no Sims very well will know that when you put in a fireplace, you have this horrible brick. Like it looks nice on some houses, but when you're trying to do a modern house and you cannot change this pattern whatsoever, it makes it really hard. So I like to cover it with the actual brick of the house. So I think that looks really cool. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that, but that looks better than it with it being exposed. So yeah, that finishes off the house completely. I'm so in love with it. I'm going to start playing it in a minute, I think. But I wanted to actually put it out there. I'm going to try and maybe put this on the Sims Exchange. I don't actually know how to. I've got to try and figure that out. But let me know in the comments if you would like me to put it on there for those of you that do play Sims. Um, because it has quite a bit of custom content that you guys can add into your games and yeah i just wondered if you guys wanted to play with it so yeah let me know in the comments how you feel about that hey guys it's future chloe here i just want to give you an update about this because i have already just tried to upload this house onto the sims exchange because i thought why not i'll do it anyway and if you guys want to use it you can However, I'm having major, major issues. And the reason for that is because of the amount of custom content that I used. I'm basically overwhelming the system and I can only upload the house onto the Sims Exchange without custom content. So basically, I would be uploading the shell of the house and you guys can kind of amend it with your own custom content. So if you want me to do that, I absolutely can. But if you don't want me to bother, I won't and I'll just leave it as it is. But I thought I'd give you guys an update anyway. Technology is a pain. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that's the update so far with this. one. But I'll keep trying anyway to see if I can get the house uploaded to my Sims Exchange. And I'll pop my profile in the description below. It's so hard getting the right lighting in this house anyway. But when it's starting to get darker later, it's even worse. So I'm just stood right in front of a window just trying to get the last bit of light of the day just so I can finish this vlog. I think that Sims segment that I just did will take up a large portion of this vlog as well. So I'm really sorry if you don't like Sims, but I do just wanna say as well, if you want me to do some like more Sims content on this channel, I'm very happy to because I'm in a very, very big Sims mood at the moment and I'm quite happy to do some like house building videos with you, maybe just play along Sims, see how that goes. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. But aside from that, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was very all over the place. One minute I'm in Mumbai, next minute I'm playing Sims. Like you cannot get any more random than that. If you did like this video, don't forget to leave a like down below. Also subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. Also pop on the notification bell as always. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.